Um, I th my favorite song comes in the opening sequence. It's um, on the deck of a Spanish sailing ship, and it uh, takes the title "Songs for a New World" um, very literal. Um, it's I, I, I play this captain, um, and I have you know my men behind me, and we are literally going out into a new world. Um, God and faith, I think, play a big part in this show, um, and he you know consistently in that number is talking about. Um, he, he, he's talking to God the whole number, you know, stop, take a look at the children you know, who believe in this promised land. Um, and you know, these people aren't sure if they're going to live, if they're going to make it, you know, if they're going to see this new world that they are going out to find. Um, but he, you know, the, the, the whole number, he's just putting his whole faith in the whole cast in general, they're putting everything um, in God. And I, I think it's, it's a really moving number, um, and it's a really big number to be right at the beginning of the show. It really, um, it kind of says this is what the show is going to be about, um, and it's it, it's just a fun one to sing. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, last year I did um, Hairspray, uh, Victor Victoria, um, Cinderella. I played Prince Charming. That was a lot of fun. Um, but I've been at Trustus for a while, so it's been nice to come back uh, here at Workshop and do a show here. I've been singing since I was five. Um, acting is not new. Um, it's something I kind of um, started in high school and I really fell in love with. Um, I enjoy it um, a lot. I, I, I love it. But um, I'm definitely a, a singer first um, who's still finding my way as an actor. I started in church, um, like everyone else, um, singing in the choir. Um, my mom was a choir director, so I had all the solos. All the kids were jealous. Um, but um, yeah, started in church and then in chorus, and then just um, I, I had a lot of teachers who noticed that talent early on and really developed it and really pushed me uh, to you know keep singing and put me in you know, private lessons and things like that. Um, and they they really um, uh, encouraged me to hone that craft. Well, I guess I was in my first play in elementary school actually. Um, my chorus teacher um, uh, pushed me to audition for Charlotte's Web at the Flower Town Theater in Charleston. Um, that was my first show and I, I loved it and then I kind of didn't do a whole lot with it. And then in high school I did a few shows um, at the Dock Street Theater and then um, at, in my high school and realized just how much I loved it. Um, when I came to Columbia, um, I'm a student at USC now, when I came to Columbia I kind of took a break um, from all of that and then I did uh, White Christmas a couple years ago and realized I really love musical theater. It kind of sparked that passion back up and I've been going ever since. I would have to say my fourth grade chorus teacher, um, Miss Winkle, um, she noticed that talent quickly and she pushed me. I remember um, we had a talent show um, in third grade and I played the piano and I thought I was pretty decent and I did not get, ca I was not in the show and she said, come back next year and sing and maybe you'll be in the show. And she was like, you, you don't play the piano, you sing. This is my, I guess, fourth time working with Chad. First being Spring Awakening. Like Vicky was saying, the whole creative process, the rehearsal process, um, just the way he works us and his, his vision is it's always so clear and so thorough. Probably about a year ago, you know, kind of mentioned this show to me, so, you know, kind of listen to the music. Um, and I did, and I fell in love with it immediately. Um, and so I'm so privileged and so happy to be a part of this show and working with Chad again. We've all gone through things where, you know, you have to make that decision, you know, do you, you know, step out and try something new or do you kind of fall back and you know succumb to the pressures that are there. Um, so I think even you know if you if you can't relate to the specific uh, experiences and the issues that are in the show, um, it, it definitely hits home in some way. 